I'm going to do a little experiment because the guys at Yamaha told me that my earth wire was completely snapped off. I'm thinking, I'm like, we checked the wiring after the bike broke down. Had the earth wire, which sits directly on top and attaches to the battery, had that broken off, we would have seen it. It very well could have been snapped off underneath the plastic, I realize that. So I'm about to call Yamaha now to ask them specifically how they found this earth wire. Because if they tell me that the earth wire was completely off, then I know that they're pulling my leg. Because I have video proof that it was on the bike on the bike when it died. Quick question for your own. When when they first got the bike back and they opened it up and they found that the earth wire was, um, Gavin told me it was ripped right off. Um, were you there? Did you see it? Yes, ah, okay, so what, what did you see? Like, was the wire actually a, a disattached from the bike or what did you see? I will say that I am kind of gutted that I didn't actually get to go and discover much in the Cedarburg and play because it is beautiful here and there's hikes and there's pools and there's rock caves with the with, uh, paintings on them and I'll miss it which really sucks uh, and some good riding up here as well just kinda gotta take it for what it is I'll just have to come back right? This morning or last night rather I posted a thing on my Facebook. I tried to get a hold of the Yamaha guys because when I found out there was no oil in the bike, I was just like, what the hell? And after everything that had happened, you know, I was I was upset. Like, this this is my safety. Yeah, that's not cool. And so I tried contacting them, no answer. And so I was like, you know what? Bad service is bad service. I'm gonna write how I feel. So, and just, I wasn't bashing anyone. I basically just said, bike was brought in for service this wasn't done this wasn't done and this was overlooked and this was neglected and you know does anyone know of any good mechanics that I can go to some were really great and then they got the um, manager posted on there's like well, you didn't contact me and blah 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 and it's your fault and just the, the stuff he said was brutal it was very um, aggressive very um, demeaning calling me a liar and uh, some people sided with him and they said oh yeah why well, run up the ladder and you should have contacted him first and give them the benefit of the doubt they were saying things like oh if you're dumb enough to cross Africa as a single female like you deserve this what the hell and, was, and most of these people are probably have these big fancy bikes and these big fancy gear and they don't they ride to work and that's it I have experience I know what I'm doing I'm not stupid and this morning I deleted them all because I could not sleep at all last night I was so upset I'm a sensitive person I a really really sensitive person and when people bully me and say bad things about me that aren't true I I really take it to heart and you know maybe I should go tougher skin but that's kind of the beauty of being an artist and a sensitive person. That's just the way we're made and the world needs sensitive people. But just really, really disappointed with the comments and people's ignorance. why I go out and do this too. It's just like, I'm gonna prove you all wrong. I do it for many reasons. Obviously that's not my only one. I love to experience culture and people and, and see the beautiful things in this world and the beautiful people. Beautiful people. That's my look on that. Sesame. My favorite corn. So I 
I'm here with my new friend, Bob. Hi guys. Who has been absolutely amazing to be assisting me and helping me with all this bike crap. He's on his holiday and he's extended himself, which is awesome. And he's also shared his corn with me. Uh, that, that's a friend right there. He Time to eat this corn. Cheers. <laughs> And good luck on the journey. Mm. You will make the journey, one way or another. <laughs> yeah. Because the minute I sit down to eat, the Yamaha guys arrive. Aye, aye, aye. Hi. I wasn't sure when you were going to get here, so I just sat down to eat. Uh, should we have a look at it quickly? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's leaking water. When I got here, we checked the oil. There's no oil in it. Um, but it's not leaking oil at all. From spray. It was just spraying out of here. And it was, it's leaking... Uh, coolant here. Yesterday it was leaking coolant here and there was a mechanic staying here so I had him check the bike and so then because he checked he decided to check the oil and there's no oil in it. When I was coming up here the bike just stopped in the middle of the road on one of the passes on a blind corner. A semi nearly hit me but what's happening All the, the forks are leaking oil, barely made it up here with uh, the suspension. Every, every little bump I took, it was like, kank, kank. Like every bump I took, it was just like hitting bottom on every single one. I'm gonna take the bike now. Cause there's no way, I mean, Without, without any, uh, you, no, that's a death wish. If you go halfway, it's gonna fall. Is there any way that you can bypass that switch and get it to start, or no? No. You didn't bring tools with you? Oh. Well. This guy's really agitated. He's not happy. And I gotta spend the next four hours with him. Uh, he's, a, he's an idiot. I'm sorry, but trying to run a bike that has no power down a hill up a ramp this big? Are you kidding me? The bike would have fallen right over. This guy's got shit for brains. This is the guy who worked on my bike. Now you see? You see? Unbelievable. I gotta get ready. Settle my bill and get the heck out of here for a fantastic four hour ride. Thing. The fact that he just said my forks were fine. What? Are you kidding me? You got. <laughs> That's my reaction to that. Bike is all on. This is going to be one freaking awkward four hours. I'm not looking forward to it. He's really angry. Oh. Awkward. Things happen, they do. I'm 
little experiment because the guys at Yamaha told me that my earth wire was completely snapped off. When someone tells me this, this makes me think like they found it and it was it was broken right off. And they showed me it. I went to the bike yesterday and I didn't want to um, start filming because they were <laughs> they were really aggravated with me already. So I didn't want to push any buttons. So I didn't film anything. I'm thinking, I'm like, we checked the wiring after the bike broke down. We took the seat off and we looked at all the fuses and everything and had the earth wire which sits directly on top and attaches to the battery, had that broken off, we would have seen it. So I was looking through the videos because I video everything and I saw that the earth wire was attached to the bike. It very well could have been snapped off underneath the plastic, I realize that. So I'm about to call Yamaha now to ask them specifically how they found this earth wire because if they're telling me that um oh it was completely off the the lead or the the bike or whatever then i'll know that they're lying because i have a feeling because when i went down there at first i was told that it fell off due to corrosion this was the story first off then all of a sudden i come back and he's like no it's because you slammed the tool belt on it and it snapped it so something's not adding up here they were very aggressive and rude towards me. I asked him about the coolant because I said look coolant was leaking and I said well it's not leaking now how can it be leaking before which is like indirectly saying I'm not telling the truth which is not nice. If they tell me that the earth wire was completely off then I know that they're pulling my leg because I have video proof that it was on the bike on the bike when it died. So um yeah let's see. Please retard your account before attempting any further calls. Shit, I ran out of data.